The whole idea of a tax on estates or inheritance, and those words are synonymous here, the whole idea was the notion which some people used to think was American in some particular way, the notion of equal opportunity, that somehow each fresh, new, innocent baby born into this world would have an equal opportunity to develop his or her skills, attitudes, capabilities, you name it, to do the best they could in their life, and that it isn't fair that one baby starts with a silver spoon in its mouth and the other one with nothing to eat with or without a spoon, and that therefore we say to people, if you do well in life and you accumulate some wealth, good for you. But most of it is going to be taxed so that your children have an equal opportunity with the children of folks who have nothing to leave to their kids because of the salaries they didn't get, the wages they didn't earn, and the capital gains they never saw. That's the idea. And for a long time in the United States, we at least gave lip service. That is, we had an estate tax. We said beyond an amount, and it wasn't very large, sizable but not crazy, we would tax estates. Now, it's true we didn't attack, tax them as energetically as we might have, but we did. Let me remind you that for much of the post-war period after World War II, estate taxes in this country were between 60 and 80 percent. So we took a big amount. We let the first few hundred thousand go, and after that, we, had, we taxed it. But all of that changed recently, and nowhere more excitedly than under Mr. Trump and the Republicans. When they got elected, here was the exemption. The first five and a half million dollars, that was already achieved by Republicans and Democrats before Mr. Trump. They raised the exemption all the way up to the first five and a half million you could leave to anyone you wanted to, and there was no estate tax. But in the tax reform of December 2017, that Mr. Mnuchin, the Secretary of the Treasury, and Mr. Trump said would not be good for rich people, but only good for the middle class, a straight-out lie, there really is no other word to use, one of the things that tax reform did was raise the exemption from $5.5 million to $11.18 million per person, so that a couple in the United States, a wealthy couple, say Mr. and Mrs. Gates or Mr. and Mrs. Bezos or any of them, could leave, you ready, $22.36 million to their descendants and pay not a nickel of estate tax. And how much on the amount above that, since they're billionaires? 40%. Not 60 to 80, 40%. Wow. That's a gift to the richest people in this country. An immense gift worth millions or even billions in the case of the richest of all. It was a gift to the richest. Those who need it least got the biggest gain out of that tax reform. Mnuchin and Trump said the opposite, but the truth is what I just told you. So we don't have a, a state tax that really bites. And we have an exemption that means the child of wealthy people can walk away with that many, with $22 bill, million dollars free and clear. You know what this does? It cements into our culture the gap between rich and poor. It makes it inheritable. We are doing to the richest of America what monarchies used to do for the king, who left it all to his son, the prince, who left it all to his son, the prince, forever. We're making it impossible because the wealth is handled in these wealthy families who keep it through the generations, which means the rest of you and me don't get it. There is no equal opportunity, less than there was in the past, and it wasn't great in the past either. This is a country which is more and more falling into warring 
minorities with the wealth and power and the rest of us sitting there waiting for what? For something like the yellow vests in France to emerge and say, we've had enough.